It's your boy Quicksand back with another video. Today is Friday, January 8th, and today I have my guy John in the building. So John hit me up in August of 2020. He said that he needed to fix his form. He sent me some videos. I told him what he should fix, and then now he's here in the lab. So we're working on it. He's definitely put in a lot of work since August, and his shot is a lot different than it ever was when he sent me those videos. So, you know, I'm excited uh, for him to tell you guys the story of how he did it, and uh, we're just gonna keep improving from here. All right, so we have Ryan here in front of us. He's going to introduce himself, and then he's going to tell us the story how we met. <laughs> so I saw I saw Gabe at the YMCA, and he called me over to try out the Dr. Jish, and he recorded me and uh, showed me like how my form was. After that, during like August, June, August yeah. around that time, I hit him up telling him I was having trouble with my form. He gave me some tips and some drills to do, like one hand form shooting. And then from there, we've been keeping in contact about basketball and how we've been. And now and you're here. Him. Huh? Now you're here. Yeah, I know I'm here. I hit him up recently telling him I wanted to get a shooting workout in and just like catch up and all that. And now I'm here. He like helped me fix my formula. All right, so you heard it right there. So as he said, back in August, he had sent me a video. Well, I asked him for a video of himself shooting, just form shots. And I noticed that, so he's a lefty. I noticed that his right hand was just on top of the basketball as he was at a set point. So he was essentially blocking himself. So I just told him to work on isolation shooting, just one hand, getting that form, getting the reps in. And he's worked on it since. Maybe you said you did like two months of it. Yeah. And then you felt like you your shot changed a lot. Got comfortable, yeah. Where he got comfortable with it. He gets stronger in those positions once you learn them and put in the reps. But now we're working on something else. I was noticing as we're you know looking at his new form, that so if you go over here real quick yep so do what we were doing earlier your left foot was in front a lot and your right foot was back so notice how and it'll go in sometimes but right here his hips were off so he had his left foot forward and his right leg back and he doesn't have he, as we scoot back to the you know the college three-point line which is the silver is the nba he wasn't able to get the ball up because he's not having enough power in his legs so now go get the basketball real quick And then stand just like we, we fixed it, right? So have both feet even. So now don't shoot it yet, but when you have both feet even, now you're able to have your body weight where? Middle. Body weight is in the center, in the center. of your legs, right? So now you have an even amount of energy going from your legs all the way up. And so that's what we fixed earlier and you'll see some of the footage from that. And um, so now we're gonna continue getting in reps, but we're gonna go a little bit further. So take one big step back. And then we're gonna go see that line underneath you stand right behind that and then we're gonna get some jump shots from here getting more comfortable in that in that same positioning so I'm gonna go start the machine and we'll get that in good shot you'll feel which ones are gonna be a bucket once the energy is right follow through on every shot is that when we're further away, if we're standing, actually let me take this part real quick. If we're, if we're further away and we're standing at a further distance, we have to use more power in our legs, in our arms, in our wrist, and in our index finger. But when we catch the ball and we're just standing straight like a free throw, we, hit, we don't really gain any power except for this. And then you're shooting from like a, like a very like still standstill, right? And so what we wanna do if you're waiting for the basketball from a teammate to pass it to you, as soon as the ball is gonna get in your hand, you can either go left, right, right, left, or get a hop. So what does that do? Um, momentum allows you to get more power into the shot. Just like if you're doing a run and you're jumping, you gotta get momentum to jump as high as you can. Right? If you're just here, it's gonna be harder to get that, that hop. So catch it as the ball is coming towards you, left, right, shot. Especially the further away you are, you have to use more of those legs right left or same time and then going over the same time. okay the other tip that i wanted to show him so we're going to do this after the other one is that as soon as you catch the ball breathe in and when you're going to shoot it out so it's here so what does that do we're looking at getting the tension out 
So when we shoot, a lot of times we just hold tension in, hold our breath, and then when we shoot it, our form is just off. Like it doesn't feel right. Right? So make sure you're getting your breath out so that way the tension is gone. So we're here. Now we just have a shot that's just like effortless. And did I just still go right left? Yeah, so you can do whatever you feel more comfortable with. I'm gonna go right left. Yep. Ready to the Yeah. Five more. Three. Two. Two more. Two makes, two makes. One. Hold it. So how'd that feel? Good. Did you feel like you had more power because you were doing that stuff? Yeah. Okay, good. So there was a lot more consistency as well. There's a lot of more all net shots. And that's what we're looking for. Another important thing too is that, so uh, put the ball down and then hold that follow through up. I could just. Yeah, you can just, yeah, let it go. Actually, I'll grab it. So when we hold our follow through up as compared to shooting the ball and then fading away. So when we fade away, but then your hand doesn't stay up, right? So you were going like this and then you were like backing up. So show that. So shoot it and then you were backing up like that. So that's, that can be a bad habit sometimes. And the reason why you're, you're, you're getting yourself at a disadvantage for getting calls for you. So hold your hand up. When you hold your follow through like that, this is why Harden gets fouled a lot because he holds his follow through exactly like this. And when he does that step back, they run into him because he's still standing there and they can't get into his, you know, his space like that. So, but when you fade away, you're giving them an opportunity to be like, nope, like you're fading away. You know what I mean? So we're not gonna give you the call. So follow through on every single shot. Give yourself the best advantage to make the basket, okay? Even the misses, just follow through on all of them. Because as you said, I heard you say, you were like, I didn't follow through, right, on one of them. And that's what's good about shooting and getting the reps in is that you start to understand why you're missing. So you're just like, okay, damn, I didn't, I didn't follow through. That's why I missed. The next one, what'd you do? Follow through and you probably made it. Or you got closer to me. So I think it looks a lot better. Which one did you feel was more comfortable? Left, right, or right, left? I didn't try the left, right. Okay. This one's just more this natural. Is natural for you. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the hop. Right. So it's gonna be two foot hop and then shot. Two foot hop and then shot. Okay. And make sure that it doesn't go one two. Boom, same time. So 
you'll be able to hear it. Yup, and then stuff. Should it be lighter? Like on my yeah, like, like everything's light, everything's light. Yeah. Last time? Good, okay. Now we're gonna, you can shoot that one and then we'll... Same time. So do it like he did it on Jordan. I think that's that's the easiest way to learn. Yeah, that's how, yeah, like, I remember he was talking about it. He was like, if I uh, if I sell him like on it, if I sell him on like, if he bites on it, yeah, and then he crossed over it, and then he made him like bite again. That's like, I heard him say that. I think the the key the key for it is like the angles of your shin. So like your shin angle yeah. when you go into deeper shin yeah, like angles, that. you're able to go into those crosses. Better. My knees are weak as hell. <laughs> So once he gets to this position, he goes out here. He's exaggerated. So his leg is out here and the ball. So you gotta have good like, hip mobility. You know what I'm talking about? Like the, I see like, I watch like a bunch of like, hustle hoopers like every day during summer. I watch all his body from like, you know, Joshua Christopher and like, yeah. Three Cooper. They're my favorite to watch. And Three, like he do it, but like, it's like shifty. Like, you know, like you do like, yeah. the, I think I can't do it. Like, it's just not easy. Like, but they're like, you know what it's I mean? Like I can't do it without the ball, but like, yeah, like, like, you got to do that step over here. It's like the little, like, jolt, you know? So, like, so, yeah, like, it makes a bite. But me, it was just like... You just do it. Yeah, yeah I'm just doing it, but I'm not, like... But I think the, the best thing to do, and this is a tip for everybody, is that when you're learning a movement that you see somebody else do, record it, screenshot, screen record it, and then watch it in slow motion. And see exactly every step that they're doing. Because there's something... Like, you know, there's I'll something that you're missing. It. There's always something that you're missing. Yeah. And it could have been, like you said, that, that shift. Like, happen. how are they doing that? Don't don't think about it. See it. See right. how they did it. Because even if you ask them, they'll be like, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just do it. You just like, it's like a step. Like head movement. Head movement, eye movement. You got to believe it, too. Yeah. If you don't believe you're actually going to go that way, they're not going to believe it. So you have to believe it. Try it again. So a fake crossover, set them up. And start it back further. Last one. I've been shooting every day. But you work out like every day? Like did now, at yeah, least I, like, I started for sure. I always have clients that I'm working out. But as far as like me actually working yeah. out, yeah. yeah, I feel like I was I was slacking on it. it like I like stopped, like I was feeling lazy, like I was just like yeah. cause after Zoom I get tired and right. like Every night before I go to bed, I was like, okay, tomorrow, start, start. Yeah, and, like, yeah. it just kept going away because, like, you know, like, Zoom, you get off and, like, you get, like, lazy. Because when, yeah. like, when you go to school, you you have to be there, you right. know? Like, you have to be, like, ready for that. But Zoom, you just get on the side, log on, whatever, off. you're off. And then, like, I'm just, like, tired and, like, yeah. whatever. But, like, all right, uh, so I wouldn't go, like, I had a plan, like, okay, from, like, after school, like, three or something. Ball handling, finishing, and then like after dinner or like before dinner, yeah. shooting and all that. And like I don't know, I just lost it. Like I was like, I had, like no, no motivation for it. And honestly, that happens. That happens all the time, really. Yeah. But it really just com it comes down to how bad you want to get better. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, cause 
what can happen easily is like say for example this this session ends and you go home and you start working yeah. on it you'll get to the point where you feel like damn i'm already good i don't need to practice anymore yeah. and then you get too comfortable get too complacent that that's what it, it wasn't it. like i'm too good it was like i'm like what what are you gonna have to work on like i've been working on it for so long like yeah. i have nothing to like you know what i mean but then like my sister came home from college like uh i remember i was like lifting before that and like just like trying to get like in like at least like a little bit taller and all that and she came and we have to like share a room because like i moved into her old room yeah and she came since she came i've been like worked out like any of that i haven't played i've gone outside like a couple times but like yesterday i remember i like texted you and i was like i was nervous because i was like um uh, i'm gonna be like rusty as hell like i haven't yeah. like, like played basketball in like <laughs> two weeks like a week and then yesterday I was like, okay, I'm just gonna shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah. So I just like shot. I was outside from like four to like seven. I was just like shooting, trying to get like my my rhythm back. Right. Yeah. Good. So I'm like a bit a bit rusty right now. I don't know what it would be. Well, that, well, that hopefully that inspired you because I hit you out of nowhere. I said you come at three p.m. Yeah. I thought it was two p.m. But I said come at three p.m. on Friday. Yeah. And then you know now we got the session in, obviously. So the last thing the last thing we're gonna do we'll end it with uh, King of the Court. So And that's the end of vlog number three. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you guys find some value in the contents of this video from the basketball side of it and the mental side. So the basketball side was when we worked on the footwork and having your hips and your feet even throughout each shot. That way you're able to have good balance and good energy from your legs all the way up to your follow through. And then the second thing is having momentum going into each shot. A left right footwork, a hop, or a right left. So those two things are gonna be very valuable going forward for shooters. And then the mental side of it. So you want to be coachable and you want to ask questions, right? So being coachable is the willingness to listen and to apply. So when I told John, hey, fix your footwork, follow through, he instantly did it and he saw the results right away. All net shots going on streaks of makes, right? So those things are important. And then, you know, asking questions, right? He asked me a question in the DM. I answered him. And then he's like, you know what? I'd like to have a session. Can we do that? And we made it happen and now we have this content to, to show for it. So, you know, ask questions, be coachable, learn every day, get better by at least 1%. Do better by 1% every day and you're going to find your life skyrocket up into success. So that's all I got for now. Till next time, tap out.